guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Christmas barn tour, and I'm actually not going to be doing the area I would usually do, which is the like house type thingy that I have. Um, I'm going to be doing a big renovation on that thing, so <clears throat> stay tuned for that. So in the meanwhile, we're, we're just going to focus on this area. So, first up here, we have Buttercup and... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm feeling a little bit sick. Buttercup and her owner, um, Lily. So, that's them. And they're going over a jump. Next to them, we have the Stallion and Gelding Pasture. So, this is actually a new horse I repainted. This is Hagrid. And he is super duper cute. He was actually from the Dollar Tree, believe it or not, and he was actually a Pegasus, but I took off his wings and I just kind of sculpted new shoulders for him and stuff, and he looks really cute, and I really like him, he's like super adorable, um, yeah, and he's actually a real Schleich figurine, he's just not the Schleich brand, um, next up we have Barley, and he is a... You know, I don't have a breed for him, so we're just gonna ignore that. And I will be doing breeds and names, so. And by the way, Buttercup is a oh, saddlebred, so just letting you guys know. Um, here we have Camelot, and he is a quarter horse stallion. And back there we have Javier, my Arabian stallion. Ooh, there we go. So that is everyone in there. Now we're going to move up a level, and we're just going to go straight to the barn. So, on our barn doors, we have some cute little wreaths. There we go. And in the front here, we have Lassie, our Border Collie. Um, on this side of the stable, oh my, the lighting's horrible, I'm sorry. Um, this horse actually doesn't have a name yet. But I got her from my sister because we did a trade and she didn't want her anymore. So I ended up getting her. But I'm not sure what I want to name her. So maybe leave some name suggestions if my thing will work. If I can make it so that you guys can comment. <laughs> Here we have Mariposa and she's an Arabian mare. And I love this mold so much. She's so cute. Um, and she's also an Arabian. Here we have Spud, and he is a new custom. He is off of the Anders Stallion, and he's meant to be a Belgian draft, but um, the color, I don't know really what happened. He kind of turned into like more of a silver, um, like a silver horse, whatever they're called, that color, you know, but not quite, so I tried. Maybe again, I'll try again, but I really like him either way. He's really cute. Um, so yeah, that's Spud. And then next to Spud, this is Tonka. And she is definitely one of my most favorite customs I've ever done. I really like this mare. Um, she is a Percheron mare. And she's just super cute. I really like her. And she's so chunky. I love chunky horses. They're just so cute. Okay. So over here, we have, I have kind of changed things around a bit, and I've kind of renovated stuff and whatnot, so it's been good. Okay, so right here, we have, oh goodness, she does not have a breed, because I haven't come up with one, but anyway, she's a, uh, like a dark buckskin kind of thing. Um, yeah, so that's Eclipse. Next to her, we have Jazz. And she is a Mustang, that's what I'm making her. Um, yeah, she's super cute, I really like this mare. This is my newest custom that I've done. This is Dolly, and she's actually a mule, and I really, really like her. So, she has super long ears, she has a cute little blaze, um, and then I gave her a really small little tail. And I made it look like it's been shaved, because that's how it is at the 
on a mule. Like, usually they shave the top and then let the bottom grow out. So, yeah. So, that's her tail. And then she has very unique, um, like, markings on her legs. Um, yeah, they're really cool looking. So, yeah. And then there's her logo. Um, yeah. And then she has our brand. Yeah, so that's her. And she actually used to be the, um, halflinger mare. And I did have to take off the halflinger mare's, um, mane, which was a pain because it gave me a lot of trouble when I was sculpting. And you can kind of see where I messed up and stuff. But if you don't look too hard, you can't really see it. So it's okay. I still love her. Next up, this is another new one. So this is also from the Dollar Tree. This is Tigger, and he used to be a unicorn. You guys may know this mold. Um, anyway, but he's supposed to be a red dun, kind of like my horse, actually. Well, except he's a red dun paint kind of thing. Um, yeah, he's super cute. I really like him, and I gave him, like, a multicolored tail. So, yeah, that's Tigger. Next up, we have, oh, goodness, what's her name? Nova, our Appaloosa mare, and she's super cute, I really like this mare, and then this is also a horse from the Dollar Tree, this is Fury, um, I just thought it suited him so well, because he seems like kind of an angry horse, <laughs> um, and if you guys are thinking that I'm stealing the names from Shike Horse Lover 200, I'm not, uh, I just really liked that name for him, so that's what I'm gonna call him. Um, anyway, so he's just a black horse with one white sock, a little star snip thingy. Um, yeah, he's super pretty. I really like him. And he used to be a Pegasus, um, and now he's just a horse. So I really like this guy. He's super cute. Don't mind the mess on the table. Okay, so next up in this little barn, we have Louie, a.k.a. King Louie. Right here we have Magic, aka Black Magic, and then right there is Shadow. I don't have a show name for him. Um, actually, wait, no, I do. I just came up with one. Um, Friend in the Dark. I don't know. It kind of sounds cool. Okay, so then we have this little piglet. So this is his name is actually Piglet from Winnie the Pooh, and I just thought it's so cute. Yeah, I really like this little piggy. So cute. And then we have a turkey here. This is Tom the turkey. Very original, I know. <laughs> yeah, he's super cute. And then going into this barn. So I actually refurbished it. So it's like really brand new, nice looking. And this may remind you guys of Shelly Horse Lover 200's stable. I actually got a lot of inspiration from her stable. Because I... It just was looking kind of crappy here. So I just wanted to make it look nice again. So in the first stall here, we have Titan, our Frisian Stallion. And he's looking so cute. And then right here, you guys may have seen this horse in the unboxing or the, um, like, stable set <laughs> tutorial. And I'm so sorry if you guys have watched that. It's been such a long video. I didn't mean to make it that long. But it was. So, anyway, so that's him. His name is Royal. And he's the retired Arabian stallion. And he's actually from my date of. or from my year. He's made in 2007, which was when I was born. Um, and then here we have Harley. And he is a Dun Buckskin, I think. And he's a, like a, a mini cord horse forget what they call him and he's just looking at our Komodo dragon and you're probably wondering why do I have this guy well I found him at Savers and he's just so cute I don't know why but his name is Iggy and I don't know <laughs> he's just kind of the weirdo that goes around the barn and he's just chilling he's a good boy here we have Tonks my custom donkey let me just get her out for you so you can't actually see her coat pattern, but it's it's under there. So yeah, that's Tonks. Here we have uh, Cedric, and he is supposed to be a Overo Roe. 
yeah? Wait, no, no. <laughs> I'm getting everything mixed up. Goodness, I can't remember exactly, but anyway, well, he's a, he's a Roan. <laughs> so yeah, that's him. Here we have one of my oldest, or I think this was my, one of my first horses, I can't remember. No, no, my first horse is somewhere else. Anyway, so this is Cowboy, and he actually came with the wash stall set once upon a time, and I really like this guy, he's super cute. So yeah, he's just chilling, you know. And then back there, there's our dog, our guard dog, <laughs> that's Beethoven. And then we just have some toys here. And then we have a Christmas tree. And then back there is like our uh, bucket, or sorry, wheelbarrow. Can't think. Um, yeah. So I'm actually going to be making this back area maybe like a little temporary tack area. So like if you want to put like extra tack. And then that might be either a lounge area or an office or maybe a little bit of both. I'm not sure. But I might have a video on me making that, so we'll see. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I will see y'all later. Bye!